Five and one? Okay, I'm just here with Kieran Callamore, who's taking on Marcus Haywood. Uh, you're fighting in the K1 Glory uh, title fight. Tell me what you're feeling coming into the fight. Um, I know he's going to want to hurt me because, uh, you know, I am the underdog, but, you know, all I can do is take it and give it back and just put, a, put on a show, you know, do what I can. Absolutely. You've been up, up this way three times in the last month. How are you finding the travel? Uh, at first, you know, like the novelty, the novelty does kind of wear off, you know, third trip in six weeks. But um, after after the first trip, I got offered a second one, and it only gave me gave me um, more reason to come up. You know, it was a good fight, and came with some bling. So keep doing it, and you know, that's how you get the good fight. Well, short notice fight. How much notice did you get for this fight? Uh, Wayne, my coach, gave me a message probably a week after my last fight, and he's like, because because I was I kept active, and he said, um, oh, we got a we got a fight for you, uh, title if you want it, two weeks. So I, was, I said I'll get back to you. So I went and I went and did crate day. And got pissed because, cause my, you know, it was the end of the year, and then I thought, shit, I, I'm just gonna go do this. I'm gonna go train hard and just smash it out. And you know, that's 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 the last fight of the year, so why not get it done? Fantastic. So, what is your fight style and what's your game plan for this fight? Uh, game plan is, you know, he's. Uh, I heard he can come in. He can come in quite wild. Um, as long as I can keep my composure and just keep taking away at the shots, that'll take a toll, you know. Keep, keep, keep firing back. You know, all, all I can do. So I'm Marcus Howard McKenzie. I'm 175 centimetres tall, weighing 75 kgs. Born on the 6th of the 5th, 1994. So I'm 24. Cool, cool. Yeah, boxing record. I've had five boxing fights. I just had one uh, about two weeks ago, and uh, I finished that in 17 seconds. So TKO, but um, no, nah, I've five boxing fights, four wins, one loss. So yeah. And uh, I'm on 20, I think 27 kickboxing fights now. So I'm getting up there. Mm -hmm. um, had one about a month ago against a Chinese opponent from EM Legend, and I uh, lost that on split decision. So a I good fight was, too, that, right? Yeah, it was a good, I think it won fight of the night, that actually. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to this one, for sure. H how many countries you fought in now? Uh, there was Korea, uh, Thailand, Tahiti, uh, China. So it'll be four or five now, yeah, and hopefully looking to go back to China early next year. That's the goal. Go over there and uh, hopefully rematch our old mate from EM Legend. See if I can uh, you know, spark him out. gentlemen, like I said, it's getting real. We are now up to bound 14. This is for another title match. Next up, fighting out of the red corner, let's give it up for Marcus the Next up, all the way from Christchurch, let's give it up for the Canadian Kieran Love
instructions as we get towards the pointy end of the night the penultimate fight is for a WKA K1 title and the two fighters out there are fighters that I've got a bit of time for only seen Kieran Cullimore on two previous occasions but was very impressive in those uh, those fights First of all, against Hemuera Parsons Brace at the Strike Force show up here. And um, he fought from behind to, to secure a draw in that one. Then he came up from Christchurch once again uh, to the Te Puki Moi Tai show. And uh, he took away the title there, the full, rule, full Thai rules fight title, uh, with a third round stoppage against Christian Kiritiani Moki. So, uh, very impressive on there. The spinning kick was what won the title for him there. So, look out for that. And with Marcus Haywood, well, he's one of those fighters that just loves to be in the thick of things. And he puts the pressure on here and those body shots. Very, very good left hand, both downstairs and up. So, watch him to be trying to find an opening by working the body and getting the hands of Kelly Moore down. And well, this is, uh, this is how I expected this fight to go. I knew it would be tough, I knew it would be no-nonsense sort of stuff because both fighters like to dominate their opponents. They both like to go forward. Neither one of them likes to have their... That, that's the kick there that I was talking about. That was one, one of the full Thai rules title in uh, Hamilton just a couple of weeks ago. Ooh, that was a beautiful knee. Well placed right on the sternum from uh, Haywood. Ten seconds. And it's a, been a seesawing affair round number one here between these two tough, no-nonsense fighters. Back to the corners they go. Haywood fighting out of dynamic martial arts. They saw you in the corner. His front leg, right, is loose, okay? If you chop the front leg out, it's gonna open him up for your hands. Lead in with the kicks, okay? So open up with the kick, lead into the body, all right? He's got an opening there, all right? Kick to the leg. Take your leg here, move over to the side, and hit him with that body shot. He doesn't like the body shot. Then come with the overhand. As soon as you get into the clinch, multiple knees, even if it's one knee. Come in, pull him over, single knee. Bang, bang, bang. Okay? But make sure it's continuous. Don't let it go. Right? But make sure you lead him in. You've got to open him up. Think about which way you're going. If you know it's going to open up that side, open him up. 
work your fucking knees on him. That fucking left kick's coming up beautifully, man. That knee was beautifully timed. Only thing they say, come back with that three, yeah? Stay fucking tight there, yeah? When he's coming in and hitting the guts, grab him, use your fucking punch. You got good, yeah? That's great. Right. Time on signal for round two. Out they come, and let's see if there's any changes. Both corners wanting their men to not be afraid of the grapple. And at the moment, they're swinging, and I'll tell you what, the, the kicks of Cullymore to the midriff, that, that's a real good weapon of his. The thing about him, he's been into the uh, trenches in the last couple of fights, and he's fought his way out, so we, we know the toughness is there, and, uh, well, Marcus Hayward, he's just one of those fighters that, you can see he's always pressing forward. Just walked into a good knee there, but it didn't slow him down at all. He puts in a good combination with the hands. Favoring the hands at the moment rather than the, anything else is, is Hayward. He has done a, a lot of boxing, so uh, expect that to, to be something that he will fall back on time and time again. But don't, don't look, count him out as far as the kicking is concerned either. Neither guy is really doing a lot of leg tapping and he puts his head up at the wrong time. Does Cullymore and he gets another little tap on the whiskers for his trouble. And Hayward forces his way forward there, taking the fight to Cullymore here in round number two. Two of five. Neither of these fighters you have to go looking for. They like to be in the thick of it. He, well, made a mistake, just about had to pay for it. And that uh, good straight hand, short of the mark there from Cully Moore. And it's that pressing forward. Oh, wow. Well, that was a free shot and he's sort of disappointed with himself. The mouth guard went out and He stopped for a moment to see where it went. I think it landed in row five. And that's the end of the round. So right on the bell, they give away the free shot. Uh, yeah, you open him up. As soon as you get those hands open, you open him up, okay? Yeah. Keep in the pocket on this one now. Yeah. So whereas before we kept the range, keep inside the pocket. Uppercuts are coming through. As soon as the uppercut comes in, he drops his hands, come over the top. Use your kicks to get inside, close him down. All right? Yeah. Kicks to get inside, not working. Try going in. Leave long hands then. But you've got to get past his, you've got to go past his kicks. Just watch that front lead kick, yeah? If you get a chance to punish it, punish it. Yeah, his leg chops is not doing anything to him. No. Nah. He's not a face. No. Nah. But he doesn't like your hands. Doesn't like the hands, no. Nah. You have to get past him. Knees. Get those knees. Once you get in the clinch, you get those knees pounding into the body. Alright? Alright? After that back, make you not be afraid of that fucking back to stuff right here. Yeah. That is on. How you feeling, man? You're going to start upping that bloody tempo a little bit, eh? Start whistling this come there. He wasn't expecting this man, you were fucking showing him a fight, yeah? Yeah, but make it harder, dude. Keep that jab, you fucking have a word this smoke, dude. Keep that jab out there, keep him fucking whistling, yeah? Water? Is that love, man? You'll fucking rip his head off that big piss, yeah? You suck and you're going so bloody well, man. Hey, we get a look at where the mouth guard come out right at the end of the round and the free shot was given away. 
He looks to see where the mouth guard goes, and it just shows you, you know, even after a dozen fights, you still make learner's mistakes. I bet he never gets caught like that again. It's protect yourself at all time out there. He is without the services of his trainer, Wayne Bianca, here tonight. Sam Haggart and Dominic Reed in the corner with him. Wayne got duties down at the Joseph Parker fight. And straight into the action again they go and there's no respite. This has just been fast paced fight from the first bell. And these guys will keep going for the whole five I'm sure of. Tries that kick again and nonchalantly put on the canvas by Hayward. Hayward uh, possesses that one-shot knockout power. Seen that right in the first fight I ever saw him. And I think the guy's name was Reddy or something like that. And uh, at the ABA, he was like a foot taller than Marcus Hayward. And bang, he put him away in the first round with one shot. So here he goes again. He's Let's put one of those shots on Cullymore, and Cullymore says, nah, nothing. He comes back with a left of his own, and that body kick is something that I think um, would be a good tactic for, for Cullymore. Keeping the straight punches out there, trying to get a little bit of room between himself and Hayward. Hayward is calling the shots here in round number three as far as the game plan is concerned. And as far as the number of shots is being fired, he's calling that as well. Just on the outside. Those are the kicks that are having a little bit of effect at the moment, but if he keeps them up, could turn the fight. He needs something to turn the fight because Hayward has just had a very good productive round number three. Working. He's got nothing that Belong didn't have, right? You took on, you can take this guy. He's got nothing on you, yeah? Yeah? Don't forget to kick. Want some more water? Deep Don't breath. Breathe, man. Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. Hold it. He's more tired than you, my friend. Take your time. Raise yourself, right? You got two ways of championship rounds now, yeah? Face yourself, the way we go, okay? You got this, you got this. This is the one, this is where you show me whether you're a professional or not. Both boys feeling the effects of uh, fast pace, both breathing pretty heavily as we go into championship territory here, round number four. And this is where it gets a little bit outside the ordinary, outside the three rounds that they fight most of the time. This is where the mind starts asking the questions. And Hayward pressing forward again. Cullymore. Well, we see kicks going in now. That's a kick there from Cullymore. Well, he doubled it up, so he felt that it was something good. And I think he needs to keep those straight punches coming as well. Oh, that might have had a little bit of an effect, that kick. He bounces back and disguises it beautifully, does Hayward. 
And he started to put a few kicks in there. Maybe the arms are starting to feel a little bit tired and he, he wants to mix it up a little bit. Save some uh, energy. Ooh, led with the head there. That referee should have said something about that. That was, um, that was a foul. No complaint from Kelly Moore. Carries on with it. Yeah. That's the sort of thing that can change a fight. High risk, but high reward sometimes with that. You know he can, he's accurate with them. And that mouth guard is gone again. Second time in the fight. And that, that Looked like a properly made mouth guard, so takes a bit of, you know, it's not something that just cut, falls out of your mouth. And here he goes, they both dig deep at the end of this one, and they're firing the bombs, and beautiful kick, and the response was the left hook. That left hand done so much for him. I think Cullimore's kicks. Up against the punches of Hayward. Open, suck in the air, and, and uh, back into the action they go. Well, it is time to pull something out like that, and he tries to do it with the spinning back fist. And this is this is uh, the fighting spirit that I saw from Calamore when uh, and I first saw him at the ABA. So you can never count him out, he's got more lives than a witch's cat. Wee, there goes those kicks I was talking about. You've got to admire the, the toughness of both these guys. Hayward's landed some real good shots. Ooh, had the head down momentarily, he knew it was the wrong place. Good cut him off. And, uh, They've been punishing kicks to the midriff. That, that arm is only just starting to come down now from Hayward. He's got to go back there and then bring one up to the to the head. Oh, 
Don't you gotta just admire two fighters like this. This is what the fight game is all about. This is a fight that has never stopped giving right from the first bell. Absolutely brilliant, guys. And the crowd is standing. And that's what they should be doing, what they have just witnessed. And both corners will be happy. This is one of those fights. I know it's a K1 title, but it, this is a fight where even if you lose, you can be proud of your performance. And uh, Dave Sawyer comes <laughs> over. He congratulates on what has been a fantastic matchup. MC Isaac Savage about to make this one all official. There will be a there will be a winner. There won't be any losers. Five rounds of action. That was the WKA strength and after five rounds we do have a unanimous decision. Missing the bell, not for long. Your winner and new WKA champion fighting out of the... And that goes forward. Soak up the punishment sort of style that he's got. Man, he did soak up some punishment and it was only in the last round that you could see those kicks were having an effect. He's made a steal this fight, and you can't have a good fight that's one-sided, so you need two good fighters in it, and that's what we've just witnessed. Absolutely brilliant, guys. Brilliant performance. And both fighters have done themselves no harm as far as uh, getting on the big shows from here on in are uh, concerned, that's for sure. A fight like that, the big promoters are going to take notice. Marcus Hayward, don't go away, mate. Don't go away with a headache. You certainly lived up to your name tonight. The South Island boy didn't make it easy for you, though. Uh, look, I uh, just want to say a massive respect to Karen coming in and taking this fight on two weeks notice. And I'll take some of this to seven and take the fight back early. So, massive respect to all those boys. What a fight. Christmas spirit. Here you have it, new champ, WKA champ, Marcus Ahilic Hayward! 